the minutes. They gon' serve me a sentence, but now I'm up in the. The hill is ill that did it. Get the cream look. Drop it. Thing. Give a by the opinions. I'm just minding my business. If I'm grinding, I'm shining. Don't got time for the gimmicks. I'm it. Squad. 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 I'm it. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. It's hard to imagine this not being a fun game to watch. It's the Rams going up against the Cowboys. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, thank you very much. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League presented by EA Sports. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they've got to be pleased with a start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The offensive starters now for the Cowboys. The trademark of the Cowboys offense is balance. They start with the running game, the number two running team in the NFL in 2016. And while the number 23 passing number may give some cause for alarm, don't look at it that way. They run the ball so well and so effectively that when they do decide to throw the football, they don't. Looking for his tight end, Witten, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33, and his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. 23 yards on the play. Super. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? That time, the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. The offense is going to stay out there. We'll see what the play call is. They need to find the right one here on fourth and goal. 
They'll run it now. Here's Dunbar. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Lance Dunbar, his second touchdown on the season. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, they just put a little sizzle in their stake there. First quarter, fourth and goal, run it in. A boost. I think they showed confidence in their defense by going for it. That's telling their defense, look, we're counting on you, we're counting on you guys, and we know that we believe in you because we go for it here. Even if we don't get it, get field position on our side, and you'll stop them. Instead, they put it in the end zone and tally up six points. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. The defense here for the Rams. Brandon McConner Barwin came out of the University of Cincinnati. The thing I remember most about him was what he did while he was in college. Tight end, played on the basketball team before moving over to defensive end at the behest of his head coach. And boy, has that paid off well for him. Started 96 consecutive games in Philadelphia, signed with the Rams in the offseason to play outside linebacker again with a comfort zone in that defense. On second down, Elliott. And they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The numbers for Zeke from last week. He was, without a doubt, one of the catalysts in that victory. And he can really be the glue that makes this offense go because when defenders have to commit to stopping him, that just opens up more opportunities in the passing game. They go play action here on first down. And this one caught by Des Bryant. And he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Or maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here, picking up the first to start drive number two. And it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because over the course of a game, the good players, things turn out pretty well for them, and that's what he's trying to do here. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Looking to throw, Prescott. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Aaron Donald in there to get him for a loss of five. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Third and long for Prescott. He completes it to Bryant. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. The numbers for Dak as a rookie last year are still kind of mind-boggling. You look at QB rating. Dak was 104.9. Now, among full-time quarterbacks, only two Super Bowl quarterbacks, Matt Ryan and Tom Brady, were higher. And look who we finished ahead of. Guys like Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, Russell Wilson. Amazing. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Throwing again, Prescott on second and 10. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. And he'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now prior to the snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. 7-0 is our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they're driving, but they come up on a third and short here. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. 
And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. Well, Stan's reason to give Zeke the ball there, I mean, let's face it, last year led the league in first downs picked up. Yeah, 91 of them, 19 more than second place David Johnson. Yeah, you can see the confidence that the team has in him touching the football. Offensive line wants to block even harder because of him. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. And as we've seen throughout this season, it's no picnic trying to score touchdowns against this unit. They're ranked number one against the run. But it's also difficult because it's not easy to throw the ball against them either. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. This is the most important of them all, third and goal. Now Prescott. And he slides to avoid the hit. Six yards on the pickup. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. And the Cowboys will call on Dan Bailey here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Bailey able to knock it through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they get three. They were hoping for six. An unlucky number 13 play drive. Well, you go to the sideline after putting three points on the board. Happy, but you wanted to be ecstatic. You wanted to have six on the board. On the opposite sideline, though, the defense, I think they're high-fiving each other, only giving up three after letting them run that much offense. A reminder, later tonight, the Colts, they'll be in Seattle to take on the Seahawks. And then Monday night, it's the Redskins getting a second straight night game as they'll head down to Arrowhead to take on KC. We're in October already. Can you believe it? No, I can't. This one's moving fast. Now a play fake here on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DN. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. A good pick up there, a 22. When I watched Jared Goff on tape at Cal, I saw a guy who wasn't just a dart thrower. You know, a lot of people said, ah, he's perfect for the West Coast offense. I always thought he could do a little bit more, and that was the reason why. He can push it downfield. He has a good, strong arm. <laughs> another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. Coming up at halftime, remember, we'll get you out to Larry Ridley in Orlando for highlights and analysis of this first half. That is, of course, unless you decide to skip him. And for the record, we do not encourage that. They'll run it now with Dunbar. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. On second down, here's Goff. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football. And you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Here's gone. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. 
pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Heck of a broken tackle, but only able to work this down near the 23. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Now this will be the ninth play on this drive. From the red zone now, gone. That is caught inside the five. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 11 more on that one and another first down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. Now gone. And the Rams with a score. Touchdown. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here comes Ryan Switzer to return it. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. First down throw for Prescott. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wrap pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mark Barron. Gets past one man. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction. Excellent blocking and picked up a touchdown. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Cowboys trail at home at halftime. The Rams have come in and look good as the road team and will just keep trying to play hard and maintain the lead going forward. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Cowboys opening up on offense. Here the defense will come up with the pick. Rams defense gets off the field with the turnover. Offense out now following the INT. Dunbar is going to look for a gap, and this four-play drive goes for a touchdown. That puts them up by a touchdown. We go now late in the first. Prescott going to connect here with pick number 88, Des Bryant. And he'll be tackled at the 21-yard line. 
However, they only come away with a field goal on the drive. Now to late in the first half, Goff's got it on the run, and he kept off the long drive with a touchdown. Rams go up by 11. Staying late in the second, the hurry throw would be picked off. Barron's going to turn it around for a TD. The Rams go up by 18. That'll do it from here in Orlando. Let's get you back out to Dallas as we hand things over to Brandon Guy. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback, right in the face of him, puts him down. And he floated one out there incomplete. Robert Woods, the intended receiver that time. And that'll make it third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. This is taken at the 23. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll be a second down. The give is to Elliott. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say pump the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. And not great starting field position here for the offense. On the run, Dunbar. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. To throw on second down is gone. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. That one goes.
goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. Back to the air. Goff on second down. Austin's got it left side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Goff to Austin that time for an L.A. first down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now a first down throw, gone. And he'll find his target, Woods, it's complete. That throw good for four, it's second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Go throwing again. Flush to his right, throwing for his running back and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Rams out in front here. They've got control. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They'll run. This is Brown. <laughs> Down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you call. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Alex 
Mike Ogletree. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Now Dunbar. And he's going to take this one down to about the 46-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave it with a second and three. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Going to give this time to the tailback. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. here to his running back. The beautiful fake. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Well, I'd say that run's pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, this offensive line has controlled the line of scrimmage, giving them time to throw it, run it, do whatever they wanted. That's why there are points up on the board. And right now, the psyche of the offense... We're in control, and we can do whatever we feel like doing out here on the field. And he'll give it here to his running back. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will. the defense was at five straight runs yeah five straight carries to start this drive and like you said the way it's working they may just stick with it and after the play on the ground that brings up second down here gonna give this time to the tailback and not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. I know ultimately that feels like a good defensive play, but I know it's really not. They had a chance to keep points off the board. Now they have a chance to kick a field goal by missing that shot. Yeah, especially at this spot in the field. He's got to be upset he couldn't come up with that INT. Around the NFL, fourth quarter right now in Atlanta. And the Bills have wound up winning that one. Tyrod Taylor, a touchdown pass to help lead the way. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. 
Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take in the next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost, it was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. First down, Prescott. And some space here. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. Prescott on first down. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. One last shot now for Prescott. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Well, Charles, it's great to win.